This case is about fraud. Fraud is fraud. It does not matter the complexity of the investment scheme. It does not matter the amount of money involved. If you mislead and deceive to take what does not belong to you, we will hold you accountable. Fraud is fraud. And the amount of money, staggering. It has gone missing as much as $32 billion. So how did this happen today on Capitol Hill? The new CEO of FTX, yeah, he's the wolf. He tried to explain he did not mince words. This is really old-fashioned embezzlement. This is just taking money from customers and using it for your own purpose. Not sophisticated at all. Uh, sophisticated, perhaps, in the way uh, they were able to sort of hide it from people. But Bankman Freed is obviously desperate to avoid a jail cell. He offered a quarter of a million dollars in cash to be freed on bond. This afternoon, a judge in the Bahamas denied it, claiming SBF is a major flight risk. Bankman Freed also claims his vegan lifestyle is incompatible with prison. I can't eat cheese. Do you know what it does to my sinuses, you guys? He says he's too depressed to do any time. <laughs> well, will this jerk end up in the Gray Bar Hotel? Joining me to discuss tonight, former United States Attorney for the Western District of Virginia, an owner of Fishwick and Associates, John Fishwick is here. Welcome, John. Kennedy, thanks so much for having me on your show. So these are some very serious charges against him that, you know, as I said, add up to 155 years in prison. What are the most serious counts SBF is facing? Well, I think the most serious charge that he's facing is that, you know, he's defrauded and stolen from these small investors all across the country, folks who've put their life savings in there, hundreds and hundreds of those folks, and he just stole from them, just plain and simple. And I think that's what gets the attention the most of the Department of Justice. Obviously, there are other investors who've lost millions and millions of dollars, but it's the average person who's been so harmed by, by this incredible schemester. And so that, I think, is the most important part of these charges. And that's who really needs to be, whatever money can be found, it needs to make, it, make its way to those folks. All right, so we, are we going to find out how much uh, FTX paid people like Tom Brady and Larry David and Steph Curry and Shaquille O'Neal and a list of others? And will they at some point be compelled to give that money uh, back to victims? Well, I think you're going to find that there's going to be an incredibly comprehensive investigation. Besides the Department of Justice, you know, the bankruptcy court through Mr. Ray and his team, I think it's clear to everybody that they're hard charging, fair, just the facts people. Remember the show Dragnet. I mean, they're going to get to the bottom of things. And so that's everybody from endorsers to others, individuals who have been involved in this top to bottom, including politicians. I think they're going to really get to the bottom of everything here. And I think there's going to be a race to the courthouse. A lot of folks are going to want to meet with DOJ to limit their prison time. All right. So is this a net for the feds to try and ensnare other people who were involved in this? Or is Bankman Freed, is he really the whale in this entire enterprise? Who are they going after? Are, are, I guess I'm asking, are they pressing him hard because they're trying to get to someone else? Or do they just want to see him really held accountable? Well, that's a great question, Kennedy, and time will tell. Yeah. But obviously, they're going to put a lot of pressure on him. He's gone from living in a swanky house in the Bahamas to a jail cell today, and that's going to throw a lot of cold water on him, and he's a talker. So ultimately, I would I expect him to flip. I mean, right now, he's not. He's going to fight extradition, et cetera. But I think eventually, he's going to talk. He's, he is the, a huge fish. He's a whale. I mean, mm -hmm. he's the mastermind behind all of this. But he knows Who about other folks, on? obviously. Well, great question. Obviously, people within his company. I think the ultimate pressure point for him will be is, you know, his parents are Stanford law professors and they've been involved in this company. And I'm sure he is going to be very, very protective of them. And that's a huge pressure point for DOJ. But $40 million was given by him in the last election cycle to politicians. I mean, two of the one of the charges deals with those political gifts, contributions. But I think the bigger game on the contributions is not just that you didn't follow the rules when you gave money to politicians. Did you expect to get something in return from the politicians or did you get something in, it in return from the politicians? I think it's interesting that that charge is in this early stage indictment. That sends a signal to me that DOJ is looking for bigger charges as relates to potential political corruption. 
Now, we know that when the federal government goes after you, their conviction rate is very, very high. Do you expect that he will spend some serious time in prison? Absolutely. I mean, years and years and years, potentially the rest of his life. And that's why the pressure is going to be profound on him in a big way. Either he's going to fight these charges, and if he goes to trial, the indictment will not be this indictment. It'll be potentially hundreds of charges against him because each time he used the mail or an email and he lied about it or a text, that can be a separate charge. Or he's going to have to flip and say, hey, look, this is everything I know. I'm telling you everything I know to try to get some leniency. It's going to be hard to get much leniency. I mean, he is looking at years and years, potentially the rest of his life in prison. I do not expect him to make bond. No, and, and I didn't buy any of the excuses when he went on that fake apology tour. I didn't buy a moment of it or a, a drop of his crocodile tears. John, thank you so much. Good to talk to you. Thank you so much, Kennedy.